Even with insurance I was like 7k out of pocket this year. Mostly for one damn tooth. What's one item you didn't realize was expensive until you became an adult? Taking the whole family out to dinner. Man, that speep adds up. Insurance. Maybe not an item per se, but you pay some sum of money premium each month to cover only a certain amount of money whatever your coverage is up until a threshold of another amount of money deductible to prevent total destruction in the case of catastrophe. I get it. That's what insurance is. But holy speep is it expensive. I was going to say this. When you add up health, I, dental, life, flood, homey are winners, and car insurance it really takes up a lot of your monthly bills. Do you know how expensive dirt is? The stuff you used to roll around in, make mud balls with, and kick at your neighbor's fence? Why the peep is topsoil so expensive? Brat ears. It's worse when you're bigger than a DDD cup in your band size. Only specialty stores have them. Also, you have to wait for the sale, or you're paying 70 per. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button to support this channel. Nuts. Especially almonds. Who knew that a little tub of unseasoned almonds are nearly 20? Having a pet. Neuter, 150. Shots, 100. Food per month, 40. Emergency dental surgery for a broken canine, 2000. Asshole cat knocking over my plants in the middle of the night, priceless. A mattress. It's an expensive game trying to find one that is good for your back. Furniture. I can't believe it. Oh I could use a new couch. How much could they be? Fabric sectional. Non-reclining. 1700 starting price. Good lord. It's wooden padding. I've never been a smoker, so never really know or care how much cigarettes costs. But a few weekends ago we spent a few days with a couple and the wife smokes. I was very surprised to find it. She spends nearly 10 per pack of cigarettes. About a pack a day. Just the expense alone would make me want to quit. I see food going around a lot, but I would say eating out. I find myself at times saying hey I want to eat out tonight, but then tell myself there is food at home. I now understand my parents. Cheese. My first year out of college I lived in Germany and I ate so much cheese. Grab a wheel of brie at the market for like a euro, and I'm all good. Then I come back to the states and I'm flabbergasted by how much anything besides super processed sliced cheese costs. That same wheel of brie can cost me like 7 U. S dollars. Any kind of decent cheese costs so much money and is so good. Pretty much anything involving car maintenance. Razor blades. Sam's and Costco sell them in bulk, which can lower the price. But my dad won't use Harry's or Dollar Shave Club since he thinks those blades are inferior to Gillette. Alcohol. You see the stereotype of a hobo with his bottle of whiskey, or whatever, and assume literally anyone could buy that speep with the most nothing of funds. It costs a bit more than I thought it would. Advil. Or any OTC medication in general. When I run out of Advil and tampons at the same time. Forget it. To get a little philosophical. Time. Time is by far the most valuable thing in my life in my 30s. I have reached the point at which I will trade money for more time. And while it's not cheap, it's more than worthwhile. Every time I bitch about being forced to work constant mandatory overtime everyone always responds. Well just think about the paycheck. I budget for my 40 hours. Any extra money is nice. But not when it eats every second of my weekends and night free time I need for rest and leisure. I honestly am not interested in working all the f-peeping time. Dental care. I had no idea how expensive it was for just a cleaning, much less any actual work. Honestly, it's the usables of running a household. As a kid you think TP and paper towel and tissues and other such hygiene items are just silly paper. 
how much could it be? And each individual purchase isn't bad. It's how much you use, and the annual cost that ends up being hundreds of dollars. But it's well worth it. I always buy the best. More expensive paper towel for example. I use them a lot for cleaning or washing my hands. And I prefer PT that actually cleans a mess with one section. Or how it actually captures water off my hand. The cheapest beep that degrades and turns to pulp is useless. Same with TP. I'm not dealing with half-ply nonsense that falls apart in hand or scrapes me raw. I'll pay the extra expense to enjoy a better quality of life. Pet maintenance has extortionate fees that many young adults disregard when they are beguiled by adorable puppies and kittens and unscrupulous breeders who don't divulge any negative health predispositions. You can accumulate obscene bills from specific food to mitigate health conditions and vet consultation fees. Even insurance is exorbitant when you're obligated to disclose pre-existing conditions. Pets are expensive, and making an impetuous purchase without research has culminated in many abandoned pets and overwhelmed shelters. Even shelter dogs are costly, no matter how altruistic you think adoption is. Yet it's not prohibitive. People buy pets for a meager fee then abandon them when the luxating patella operation is estimated 2000 plus 400 for subsequent x-rays. <laughs> McDonald's Egg McMuffin you never realize how much of a fortune you can spend on McDonald's until you've got three and some change and the most you can afford is two cheeseburgers. That's not even enough for a McMuffin, let alone half of the things on the menu mayo. <coughs> insurance and towels. Had no concept of what insurance really was. Towels. WTF. Even the cheap ones are like 8 slash EA. <coughs> Glass eyeballs. As a child I was really begin to taxidermy, but thought it was hilarious to put human glass eyes on the animals. I'd spend weekends roaming the country roads looking for any roadkill I could find. I started by stealing my uncle's glass eyes, but he caught me, and I got in trouble. My parents, being the supportive caring individuals they are, started buying me glass eyeballs for every gift giving event. I'd get them for my birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving. I'd even find them in my Easter eggs. By the time my parents disappeared, when I was 16 I had quite the collection saved up. It was a rude awakening when this year my stash ran out, and I had to start buying them myself. They are so expensive, and I'm so grateful for my parents, to have bought them for me for all of those years. Lumber. My wife and I like to build furniture and home improvement stuff to burn stress. When we started 6 years ago I thought heavenly expensive part while to be building a decent supply of power tools. Nope. Lumber in my area Tampa, FL area is ridiculous. We just finished a porch swing last weekend. 6 foot wide at the seat. About 2 feet tall total. Not enormous by any means. 7 treated 2x4x8s and 5 treated 1x4x8s. Cost me 75. Still cheaper than buying a similar bench swing. But not by a ton. <coughs> Dentistry. Even with insurance I was like 7k out of pocket this year. Mostly for one damn tooth. <coughs> the cost of living on your own in general. You never realize how much kitchen were. Toiletries. Towels. Toilet paper. Paper towels. Bath mats, Cleaning supplies. Basic tools. ETC add up. Water bottles. Really? 15 for a bottle of nothing? I hate you. <coughs> Towels. I'm turning 30 this month, and I still feel like 12 to 15 for a decent towel is way too much, when I need at least 4 of them. <coughs> Can't do it. I stick with my drugstore mascara. 25 is just too much to make my eyelashes black. I will spend money on foundation and powder. I do not want to look like an oompa loompa. A house. Growing up in a modest suburb I thought everyone could have won. I live in a major city now, and I doubt I'll ever afford a house. Renting for life. P. Literally everything. But for me, that I notice it's clothes. The f peeping clothes on your back. Pants are like 30 each. I've gone to places with really cheap shirts. 
and some of my shirts are mono color v-neck shirts, and they were like 6 each. But find a shirt you actually, like they're easily 25 to 30. Jackets being upwards of 40. It's ridiculous. A car. Yeah the monthly payments are expensive. But fixing the fuck's car is what gets you. I can plan for a 250 monthly payment. I can't plan for urgently needing new tires and engine issues at the same time. Furniture. No I will not take a second mortgage for this couch. Just a reminder, that when boomers were young, just about everything cost pennies. Gas. 25 a gallon. Movie tickets. 10. Soda. 05. And let's not compare the price of houses, cars, or college tuition. And they are mostly responsible for skyrocketing prices and inflation. Thanks guys. <coughs> Toilet paper and paper towels. It seems like we need to get at least one of them every time we do our weekly shopping trip and they're not cheap. <coughs> Olive oil. Growing up I figured the cost was along the same lines as canola oil. Nope. The good quality olive oil is expensive. And household things like razors, soap slash shampoo slash conditioner, paper products, menstrual products, all that stuff sure adds up. So I haven't moved out, and I'm only 20, so I just need it to be known that I still actively collect Lego. That's peepees, so goddamn expensive. Time is the most expensive commodity. Once you lose it, you never get it back. Like your youth. Make the most headway you can in your youth. Either I was exposed early, or I feel like there's a lot of super obvious answers throughout the top of this thread, but I haven't seen this gem. Front doors for your house. A reasonably sturdy door and frame can run up to 500 to 600. If you have, or want a nice wooden one with legit glass and lay you can easily hit 2k. Don't slam your doors kids. <coughs> curtains. F peeping curtains. And the fact that they are only sold in one piece instead of a pair pisses me off so much. <coughs> House windows. We got a quote for 3 French doors and all the window replacements that was over 70. 000. zero, zero. But they had a special running that would drop it to around 55. 000. zero, zero. The company was extremely proud of their windows. We declined. <coughs> College. I was told about scholarships and grants and never having to pay if you have good grades. Yeah no. I'm not at Harvard like I said I would in the 5th grade. I'm at Kennesaw State. Hoping to live. Holidays. Now that I have my own family I can really appreciate what my parents had to do to take a family of five on a holiday each year. <coughs> Window blinds. My fiancé and I bought a house that didn't have blinds, so we thought oh we'll just buy some no big deal we spent 300 on just f peeping blinds. <coughs> Car tires. You see the ads that are like I'm a great deal. 100. I figured that had to be all four. Not one. I mean just grocery shopping in general. Like you can break 200 a week easily with a family of four. When my wife and I bought our first house the sellers at the last second decided they wanted an extra 1k for the fridge it was super nice. We figured there is a fridge in every home so they can't be that expensive and ended up refusing to pay the extra 1k. Went out the next day to get a fridge, and realized the fridge they took was about 3k, but a normal new fridge was at least 1200, and we didn't have anywhere near that amount. Ended up settling for a 300 used fridge, and to this day I still kick myself for not even googling fridge prices. <coughs> Gas. Mom drive me here. Mom take me there my sister does this now so her asking me to take her to all these places made me remember I was sorta like that, and I tried explaining the cost of gas, but she didn't care so rip. <coughs> Hot Wheels tracks. The cars are so cheap. We buy them for a dollar at the grocery store, if the kids are being good. Thought. Oh. 
we could actually buy them some tracks for Christmas. Hell no we are not after looking them up. Now there are some really cool ones. Like the Star Wars set and Batman ones. But you have to buy each one separate and buy more tracks. If you want it longer or a loop track. If you want loops and blah blah blah. Had no idea this mess was that expensive. <coughs> Gasoline. In the news. When I was little every time the gasoline price rises I was like that's so little. Why is everyone frustrated? Now if the price rises by a cent. Oof peep my life. <coughs> no one ever tells you how expensive it is to fix. Speep. And you need all of it. What am I supposed to do? Speep in a bucket? Live without Zach in Florida? Let the shower break and hope no one smells me? And God f peeping help you if you suddenly decide to add speep to your house. I had a snake get on my porch remember. A good snake. So I decided to add a screen and door to prevent vermin from getting in. 750 for labor and I'm still waiting on a quote for materials guessing 500 or so. So about 1200 to add a screen and door. And based on my research. That's a good f peeping price. I thought about replacing my shower. Shut that speep down right quick. It was 900, just to install new shower doesn't include the doors. I've wanted new blinds for 5 years. I daydream about new blinds. I'm scared to look up cost and installation. This carpet I have better last another decade. And I will burn the house down, before I paint it again. 2000 it cost to paint the whole house. F peeping houses. I'm not even an adult but clothes. I'm anxious about my parents spending too much on me, and when I need new clothes I can never get more than one item, before thinking it's too expensive. It's not even like we shop at some high end shop. All my clothes are from Target. Like. 15 shirt. 20 pants. 30 shoes. That's over 6 hours of minimum wage work, where I live for an outfit. Not even counting boxes and socks. Odds and ends. Bits and bobs. The little stuff. A chocolate here. A new recipe there. New dish drying cloths. Some Tupperwares. Need a new welcome mat. Grand a coffee with a buddy. Light bulb is getting old. A new box of tissues. Snacks for movie slash game night. A new charging cable for the phone. Let's get the car washed f peep me. Where did my money go?